All right, so this is over on this card, lads. Rate your squads. Ariel, we're doing good, bro. Hope you're good as well. Um, this is E1 squad. E1 is playing a 3-4-3 with Nukunku as an attacking slash SS. Nice squad, right? Nice squad. Now, the biggest problem with this squad is the fact that E1 owns it and that he is really, really, really poor at the game. So that's going to be a big issue no matter what you do. That even if he has players on 1,000 overall, he's still going to struggle, okay? He's still going to struggle. No, I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid. Listen, this is a fantastic side. The one thing I would say, one about this squad is how are you finding Declan Rice being in the left there with Fabinho and Trent? Because I don't think, I think it's a very attacking team, to be honest with you. I would probably put, if it was me, I would probably put Rudiger out left instead of Decky Rice. I would move Rice or Fabinho. I would only play one of them because they're both extremely similar player IDs and styles. And then I would probably put a build-up centre-back. The way the game has gone at the moment, build-up players are really, really good. I know you've got Marquinhos there as well. You've got a destroyer. I would probably play one more build-up there and defensive line. That's what I would probably put in it. Let me see who you have on the bench if we're able to get this up here on the bench. So let me see. You've got... Okay, there are your attackers. It's not a bad squad, man. I mean, I would probably just put a player with like 95 plus in defense. Like if you had Tommy Yasu or you had Ruben Diaz or someone like that. Because the game is so interception heavy. All right, next up we've got Aaron C. S. C. Jesus, man. Where is these teams coming out of, man? Where are these teams coming out of? You've got Romario on the bench. Are you loco? This is, this is an insane squad, lads. This is one of the highest rated squads I've seen. You've got Batman in the back. You've got Eder, Militao, Cafu, Carlos, Vieira. I can't really fault this team at all, really. I can't fault this team. I would definitely switch out. Well, I would probably switch Romario with Mbappe. That's just me. I know a lot of people love Mbappe, so they don't really, they don't really see the issue with using him. Um... This is a big squad, lads. This is a lot of money spent on this squad and a lot of time and effort gone into this squad to get them all. I mean, you've got nobody underrated uh, under 97 overall. So, fantastic squad. I probably, if it was me, I might actually... See, it's a, it's a good team, man, but it's very solid in defense. Very solid in defense. But I would slightly worry about conceding a few goals being caught in the break because Carlos and Cafu are so horny to get forward. I swear to God they might be a little bit too offensive. But then it comes on your play style, man. All right, next up, we have got... Who's this? I can't see the name. You'll know who it is. All right, so this is the classic 3-5-2. This is one of my favorite formations where you've kind of got like a false attacking midfielder, Ronaldinho. You've got Neymar and Foden as your right and left mids that are going to be doing winger rolls and covering back as well. Um, Guardiola, Iniesta, Ronaldinho, Romario... And this is what I'm talking about, right? Having This is what I was saying to you, E1, about your squad, right? Um, having somebody like Ruben Diaz, like I have Delict, and Delict's defense is so good that he covers so many gaps for you. You don't really see it until you actually move to a player that has serious, unbelievable defensive stats because the game does it for you, man. The game does a lot of the defending for you. But this is a very good squad. I would not, unless Barkamp is one of your favorite players, I would definitely replace him with an absolute unit such as King Collar. No, I would probably replace Burkamp with a better target man, whether it's Cristiano, whether it's Lewandowski, if you play that role, or else double down and go with Mbappe or Messi, Messi, somebody that can shoot. But fantastic side. I love that Romario's in it. Guardiola, a lot of people say he's mid sometimes. I think he's a beast. If you have a better DMF there, you could slot him in as well. But it's a very, very fine squad. Ramos won't be caught for pace in that central as well. But I do like that defense. But I definitely think that's a defense that's going to concede goals, man. That is going to concede goals. All right, we will go back to this in a second. We'll just do the last one here. We've got Rafael Guerrero, Araujo, Montiel. Well, obviously, Montiel is uh, going to be the obvious upgrade here. Um, I think you're playing what? You're playing a five up front. It's a good balanced team offensively, but I, I would worry seriously about how many goals you're conceding, man. I would say you could worry seriously about how you're going to defend in there. Because if you've got a team like this, right, you're dependent on the AI to defend two of these positions for you. Whereas with this squad, you're dependent on the AI to defend with these two positions here. So I would say that Montiel is not going to be 
a, an option for you to cover those gaps. But then with the way that the game works sometimes, I think you're probably going to overpower a lot of people. If I could, if I was playing you and I see that you're playing five up front, I'm just going to keep the ball and, and annoy you and not let you have the ball. So you definitely need a sub tactic or something there to be a little bit more compressed, I would say. Um, 